Hey guys, and welcome to my Nightmare Tide Expert Dungeon Guide for Glacial Moor. I'll be going over the mechanics of each boss and then show you a video clip for each one so that you can see what it's like in action. Unfortunately, I recorded the clips with no in game sound um, and I wasn't using my mic either, so it will be quiet during the clips, unfortunately. Um, but please just take that time to focus on all of the mechanics of the boss. So, we'll start with Shigaroth, which is the first boss. For DPS, the boss is quite easy. You'll start the fight by being behind the boss. Then the only mechanic you need to worry about is an ability called Biting Snowstorm. So when the boss is casting this, simply keep on moving and do not stand still until the cast has been finished. You'll also take some AoE damage from other boss abilities, but the healer should get you back to full health, um, so there's no problem and don't start panicking if suddenly your health goes reasonably low, because that should happen. Apotheron is the next boss. This is also quite a simple one. As a DPS, just keep on nuking the boss. There will be lots of blue AoEs in this fight on the floor, but if you stand in them, nothing happens, so you're free to move into them. At a certain point when the boss starts to get low, it will suddenly become un um, untargetable. You need to make sure that you kill one of the crystals, and you should receive a reactive ability from it. So you then use the ability which will make you fly to the boss's head and simply nuke the uh, new target down. Then when you drop back down, just finish off the boss. Unfortunately, during the fight that I recorded, um, I didn't manage to kill one of the crystals. Well, I killed one of the crystals, but I didn't get the reactive ability. Um, I think it was because I wasn't standing... Uh, very close to the boss so you need to be standing quite close to the boss to use the reactive ability and you'll just shoot straight up onto the head and you just need to kill it
Toknos is the next boss. This is an easy fight for DPS, but some healers may struggle. So if you do suddenly start to go low, don't panic. Either the healer will be with you in a split second, or you'll die. So don't worry about this. If you do die like that, it isn't your fault. It should be the healer's. Uh, make sure that you stay out of green AoEs on the floor. Um, and also the only other thing really is if your group has high DPS, all you need to do is nuke the boss. But if your group has lower DPS, then when the boss teleports, it will start to eat an egg and also add spawn during the fight. So your only other mechanic is to kill the egg when the boss teleports and also to kill the adds. And last but not least, we have the Cosmo Man and its heart. There is an uninterruptible during this fight, but the tank should do this. As the fight progresses, a purple AoE will spawn on the floor. Make sure that you get inside that ASAP, otherwise you'll probably get one shot uh, when the boss finishes its um, cast. Also, there is a green AoE on the floor, and you'll also want to stay away from that one. So start the fight by getting the man to 75%, then you attack the heart to 50%, then you get the man down to 25%, kill the heart and then finish off the man. And you have to do it in that order as the other part uh, will be, um, you won't be able to do any damage to it as it will be immune to all attacks.
And that's it for today's guide. Hopefully this will help you to complete gas, uh, Glacial Moor in the Expert Nightmare Tide Dungeon. If this has helped you, please make sure that you like the video and also subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are interested in more of these videos. So thanks for watching, have a nice day and make sure that you check out my Twitch stream if you're ever, or if you ever have some free time and uh, just watch all my other YouTube videos to help me out as much as possible. So see you later.